welcome back to another video in today's video I'm gonna be of course sharing with you guys this look right here which I actually started on TikTok live if you guys are not following me on TikTok you definitely should follow me because I am trying to go live more often and I honestly love talking with you guys and just enjoying some music and doing my makeup so if you guys don't follow me on TikTok I'm gonna put it right on the screen and I'm also gonna leave it down below in the description box but I am obsessed with this look. I mean, who is she with shimmer on the lid? Um, I didn't do all of this on TikTok Live. I did tweak it a little bit. So if you're watching this video and you were on that live, you're probably like, girl, you added some stuff. I definitely did. You guys know I got to be extra. So this is the look. What do we think? I am absolutely obsessed. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this look. We're not doing a full complexion in today's video just because I did do my complexion on TikTok. So I'm just going to be specifically really focusing on showing you guys how I got these beautiful eyes. Um, so yes, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter video, but I hope you guys don't mind. So before we get into the actual tutorial part of this video, I do have two brand new fragrances from Dossier. I know you guys are probably like, girl, where's your monthly dose of Dossier? Well, here it is. So if you guys are not familiar with who they are, what they are, they're basically a fragrance company and they create affordable fragrances based on your favorite high-end fragrance which is amazing they have so many scents you guys I honestly can't even keep up with Dossier at this point because they just have such a huge array of fragrances like I've been trying some new ones myself so this is the little box that you get and when you do get it in the mail and you open it up inside you do obviously have your fragrance but then it also comes with a little information card now this card is super super important so I don't know if you guys are like me but anytime cards come in boxes I'm just like eh toss the side don't toss this one hold on to this one so this card is basically like I said your information card so it tells you what the fragrance is called what it's inspired by the notes of the fragrance the concentration level and also how their return policy works so if you are not 100% satisfied with your purchase you can go ahead and return it for a full refund so for this month I got two cents the first one right here is floral violet and it's inspired by Marc Jacobs Daisy which I'm very excited to try this out I haven't sprayed anything because I love spraying it for you guys on camera so I quickly wanted to show you guys the bottle so here's what the bottle looks like so it's very basic and to the point it comes in a glass bottle and it has your white label in the front that just tells you the fragrance name as well as the notes you guys honestly I'm not walking around holding my fragrance all day like no one sees my fragrance bottle so I rather cut the price in half and pay for the fragrance and not the bottle that it comes in you guys this smells so good I honestly every single time I try one of their scents especially when it's like a scent I'm familiar with and it smells identical I'm just like how do they do this it's crazy the next one that I picked up is amber cherry and this one is actually inspired by Tom Ford's lost cherry I've never tried this perfume before so let's try it this might be my new favorite fragrance this smells so good this has cherry almond cinnamon it also has jasmine plum vanilla this smells so good like really fresh but a little warm too it's really nice that's actually gonna be my go-to fragrance so those are the two fragrances like I said that I got this month everything will be down below in the description box if you guys are interested so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump in to today's video before we do please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already and of course without further ado if you would like to see how I created this makeup look today then just keep all right you guys a long time no see I've been taking a little vacation but I am back I'm sorry that this video is just the eyes but this is pretty much the only footage that I got but don't worry full-on tutorials will be coming back very very soon I have one more video that's like this one but then of course we'll go back to me showing the full face so for today's look I'm using the carnival XL pro palette as you guys saw in the clip I'm first going in with the shade reckless now I'm gonna go into the shade persuasion and I'm basically going to just use this to start to really diffuse and blend that harsh edge that I created with the shade reckless you guys know I like to go from my darkest shade to my lightest shade and then work my way up so the next color I'm gonna be going into is funky and I'm actually gonna take this on a fluffier brush and of course I'm doing that 50 50 technique where 50% of my brush is on that harsh line and the other half of the brush is on the bare skin so I get a nice beautiful blend next I'm gonna go into the shade pep talk which is this beautiful 
bubblegum pink it is stunning this as a blush is so beautiful you guys do not sleep on the technique of using your eyeshadow as blushes because it's honestly life-changing so I'm going with this shade and of course this is gonna be my lightest color and then you guys already know I like to go back and just re-intensify everything make sure everything is really beautifully blended and you can really see that really nice gradient from darkest to lightest shade and honestly the best way to get that is to just do as as much blending as possible and just keep going back into each eyeshadow and just intensifying each one as you go so once I'm pretty happy with the blend it is of course time to clean up that lid so I'm taking q-tip and some micellar water specifically I'm using the one with the pink cap from Garnier I love that micellar water it is so good it doesn't leave any residue on your lid and then to cut my crease I'm going in with blank canvas by P Louise now I didn't show you guys the full clip of me cutting my crease I will in the next Next tutorial but I did that off camera and then I'm going in with this pigment from peaches and cream and this one is in the shade Gatsby you guys know I it's very very rare that I go in with a shimmer on my lid I'm more of a colorful matte bright kind of girl but I wanted to switch it up and do a little bit of shimmer for you guys so I went in with this pigment mind you there's no pigment adhesive on my lid it is just the blank canvas that it's a little bit tacky and this just adhered to it so nicely and it is so reflective I was obsessed so I went ahead and added a piece of tape to my outer corner as you guys can see and then I'm going back in with all those same colors and just creating of course that little winged liner effect but of course with eyeshadow this is such a great technique especially if you're doing a look like this where you want it to be colored and you don't have a colored liner like this so of course the most satisfying part is ripping off that tape and then I just went back in with a little bit of that same base and just cleaned up that wing. And of course, you do want to also take your buffing brush and blend that out. Now, this makes it really nice and easy because not always when you remove that tape is it going to be exactly perfect and sharp. Sometimes you do need to clean it up. That is normal. It happens to us all. So that's what I'm doing right here. You guys know, honey, if it ain't perfect, I don't want it. So I'm taking this brush. By the way, this is a P. Louise brush. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. And then, like I said, I just went back in with that buffing brush just to make sure everything is blended out really, really nicely. So I also decided to add a little bit of detail work to today's look. This liner is from Fenty Beauty. It is the white eyeliner. Unfortunately, this was a part of a summer trio kit that they no longer make, but it's one of my favorite white eyeliners, so I continue to use it. If you guys have any amazing liquid white liners that you love please leave them down below because I need to get me one that I can recommend and if someone likes it they can actually buy it because this one is discontinued so I decided to actually connect the outer corner to the lower lash line basically I guess you can say and kind of create that kind of graphic white wing moment but then you guys already know your girl's extra. So I ended up adding a black wing liner to make it look like a dual, like, y'all know, okay? Like, there, there has to be something different, okay? That white liner on its own, it's cute. It's a vibe. She's a moment. But it was a little boring for me, so I decided let's add a black liner as well. Now, you guys saw I had actually started with the Morphe pen liner, and it was skipping and it was not giving any ink so I would say when it comes to work like this detailed liner work that you need a super pigmented liner the ABH liquid liner is the way to go it is so so good and it dries super matte it is the most matte black liquid liner I have ever tried it has no shine to it it's phenomenal then of course I went in and cleaned up that wing with some concealer and then I decided to underline the wing with some more white just to make sure everything kind of ties together so so for the lower lash line, I'm going in with my Killer Liner from Too Faced in Killer Cashmere, and I'm just adding that to my waterline. You guys know I love this pencil. Super creamy, very pigmented, and it lasts all day. And then I'm just taking those same exact shades and just adding them to my lower lash line. Nothing fancy. I kind of wanted a little monochromatic moment with the shimmer on the lid. And I feel like this really did give that to me. So the last step for the eyes besides the rhinestones is of course adding some bottom lash mascara. And you guys can see in this clip that I actually decided to do a little inner corner flick. You guys know it's been my jam lately. Especially when I do the black like I did here and then underline it with whatever 
whatever colored pop of liner that I'm using on the crease, which is actually white in today's look. So I just underlined that black liner with a little bit of white and I was obsessed. So I also had to remove my lashes because they were not sticking, but these right here are actually Popsy lashes. So I went ahead and popped those back on and I am obsessed. You guys, Popsy lashes, they just take your lashes to another level. They are so, so beautiful. And I actually do surprisingly get a few uses out of these lashes. As long as you take care of them, they last you. They're just perfect. So of course, I felt like all this line work wasn't enough. So we're adding some rhinestones. So I'm just taking my lash glue and then I'm just applying a few rhinestones to the eye. If you guys are interested, these rhinestones right here I got off of Amazon. They were super inexpensive. I'll go ahead and link my Amazon storefront down below so you guys can check it out. I have literally every Everything I've ever purchased on Amazon that I actually like on there so there's home decor there's makeup there's equipment everything like that so definitely check that out but this is the completed look I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video like I said I know it was a quick one but I will be back with my longer tutorial soon I love you guys so much and thank you for watching bye guys